YouTube, so I am back. I know it's been like a month or so, but um, it's just uh, been a little crazy around here. I, as you can see, I'm actually on my um, iMac. I finally got the camera working again on there, and we've just been super busy with, uh, we're buying a house right now, so we're in the process of escrow and doing all that stuff, and my son's birthday is next week. Not this weekend, but next weekend. So we've been planning for his birthday and then all the holidays are coming up and stuff. So I've just been really super busy um, doing stuff like that. But I am back today for a video. I've been wanting to make this video for a while and I finally have time to do it. So this is my October favorites, as you can see from the title of the film. And let's get started, okay? First off, I'll start off with candles. Actually, only one candle. And this one is the Vanilla Bean Noel from Slap and company and again it's from Bath and Body Works and this is like if you guys like um, warm vanilla sugar or any kind of vanilla -y smell this is like just like it it's almost at the end so it kind of smells just like the burnt it doesn't smell as good as it would if it was full um, I got this one last um, year during the holidays I'm sure they still have this kind of um, Again, it just makes the room smell so warm and just makes it smell like you're having like a sugar cookie or like something sweet vanilla-ish and it just makes you relax and it definitely fills up the room. And so this is what I've been burning all this month, all, all month of October, sorry. Next item of choice would be my Lush. Um, this is the big shampoo. I know I featured this before. For probably a favorites video but I can't help it I love this stuff um, I haven't used it for like a year or two and so I finally got one when I went to Vegas and it just looks like this it has really big granules of um, salt in it and I mean I just love it. it makes my hair feel really nice and clean I have a lot of hair and I get like a lot of dandruff and a lot of just like build up in my hair so this really cleans it out really well um, my mom has really thin hair and she uses it. She really likes it. I love the smell. It smells very oceany. And I think it was like 20 something dollars from Lush. And it's vegan and everything. I just love it. And it does make my hair feel a little bit um, more volumized. Uh, as you can see, I washed my hair last night with it and I just love it. It just makes my hair feel so much better. And I would definitely recommend this to anybody. So I've been using this guy every year. And to go on with the Lush. Um, I've been using this tea tree water um, to spray on my face like after I take a shower or if I'm feeling kind of like blah on my face like I've been moving around a lot and I just feel sticky or whatever I spray this on for like a little mist. The bottles are deformed though because I bought this in Vegas and I don't know the weather or something just made the bottle good all crazy but I like that it just sprays. And it is a, just a toner water. Um, I think it's vegan as well. And I also have the little, <laughs> the little gel kind too for your acne. And I just love the way that it feels on my skin. It's all natural, and um, I like this a lot better than like the drugstore ones, like Clean and Clear and all those toners and stuff. Since it's all natural and it's tea tree, and I think it really helps out when I have acne. Um, oh, I will start off. I've been kind of um, trying out different foundations, and this is actually one my mom bought a while ago. And this I tried out, and I really like this one compared to the other ones. This is like the no makeup makeup foundation with SPF 30 from Dr. Paracone. It's quite expensive, I think it's like $50. She got it, um, QVC, I think. I think Sephora sells it too. Anyways, it just comes with a little pump, and what it basically is are is they match to your skin color, so you like put it on your skin. A lot of these, like the BB creams, and I have another, um, I think it's a Josie Marin one like this. The when it comes out, it's like a white paste, and then it like goes to the color of your skin. I like this one because it's already like a creamy color, like this color of your skin tone, and then it just like goes to the co the exact color of your skin. And this one has been the only one that I've tried that's matched exactly to my skin. And I use it with my MAC um, 187 brush. And I just like sprinkle it on 
and it doesn't get all streaky and it actually matches my skin color which is really good because most of the time I can never find the exact color. I'm very fair and sometimes they're just too orangey toned or something like that. So this has been um, really good for me and I've been wearing this for most of the month of October. And since it is getting winter time, um, I actually got this Sugar Fresh. I have the two. This is the mini size one. Um, then I have the berry colored one, I guess. And I got it for my birthday. Uh, if you sign up for the Beauty Insiders, you get like the free birthday thing. And it just looks like this. It actually kind of melted and fell apart. But I love it because usually um, since the weather is changing and where I live it goes like one week it's like 80 degrees and the next week it's like 60 degrees. So like the weather changes so much that my lips get super dry or if I get out of the shower. So this stuff works so good. It stays on my lips the whole time I put it on. I don't have to keep reapplying it. My lips feel moisturized even if I'm eating or drinking something I still have it on. It has SPF 15 and um just smells like lemons which I love because I love anything lemony or fresh for my lips it just smells so good and I think for $22 for the full size one I think it is actually probably a good deal I'm really glad that I got these ones as a sample because I probably would have never bought the $22 one just because but now that I've actually tried the littler one I wouldn't mind buying the larger size one it just works really well for my lips and my lips are super sensitive they're always getting dry so yeah I just been loving that and um, as for eyebrows I have never I'm not wearing any um, anything on my eyebrows today because I just went and got them waxed but usually when I put on my makeup I do use this I have never filled in my eyebrows before because I just have so much eyebrows but as you can see right here um, it's very like thin sparse and so I just wanted everything to be more defined especially when I'm wearing makeup since I have so much powder on my face or so much foundation and stuff it kind of makes my eyebrows less defined so I decided to go to MAC and I got this MAC brow pencil and it is in lingering and it's really nice because it's a wax base so it's not gonna like run off your face especially in the summertime and when it's been really hot over here, um, I've even been wearing it and it hasn't done, like it doesn't come off, which is really nice. So you don't have to worry about it. This is what it looks like if you just twist it up. It's a twisty dial. And it, like I said, it's wax based. And um, I just kind of draw it on on the bottom to kind of like give it definition and then color it in just a little bit. And again, if you put on too much, I just use a little spoolie to have try and um, blend it out a little bit and it looks really nice it lasts me all day and it doesn't come off till you actually wash your face and scrub it off so I really like that um, and yeah so I've been using this one and I've been loving it I'm so glad that I bought it and I think last but not least I believe <laughs> is um, Japanese cherry blossom from Bath and Body Works um, it just smells so good obviously if you don't know what it smells like you need to go and smell it I'm sure everybody has smelled this it's like one of the most popular scents from Bath and Body Works I absolutely love this one all year round but especially like um, when you want to feel like really I guess you say feminine if you really want to like stand out a lot like you want people to smell you and you want to smell good this is the stuff to go by um, it just it's really strong and let me see it has it's a seductive and mysterious floral scent inspired by the exotic gardens of Japan so it is definitely seductive it's definitely like sensual smelling florally smelling and stuff and I just love wearing this especially in the winter time because it gives it kind of like a um, it's a stronger scent it's not good it lingers you know it's not gonna like drift away in five minutes once you get out of the shower so I use the shower gel and the body wash I mean the body wash and the lotion and I also have the perfume too but I mean you don't even need the perfume that's how strong this is and um, it leaves your clothes smelling good and I like wearing this I take showers at night so I'll put this on at night and it lasts me all the way to the morning so that's why I also like it it just smells so good and you don't have to worry about reapplying reapplying
and the lotion makes my skin feel really nice and soft, especially since the dry weather. I believe that is everything for my October favorites. I know that's not like extremely a lot of stuff, but I just really wanted to show you guys beauty stuff. This time I do have other like uh, miscellaneous stuff, but I decided to keep that stuff out and make this short and sweet. I hope you guys like this. Um, what is this? <laughs> I hope you guys like this October favorites, and I will see you guys in my November favorites. Bye.